Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So we are going to be continuing the series that we have done for every single extra deck mechanic and that is the 25 or 20 awesome series, uh, although this will not be named 25 awesome anything. Uh, I've done this where I incorporate video clips and commentary. I really love this format because I feel like it lets us kind of watch back some of the more epic moments that we have seen now from over a thousand episodes of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise that we all know and love. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at 25 shocking duel results. So there have been a lot of duels from Duel Monsters all the way through Go Rush. And in those duels, while most of them have been maybe a little predictable, we have seen some really surprising results. And this video is going to encapsulate what I believe are 25 of the more surprising duel results. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean shocking in the sense that character A defeated character B. There are going to be some duels on this list where we all expected character A to win, but the way that they won was very surprising. Uh, whether it was kind of from a brutality perspective, like a face plant into cement, or it was from a perspective where a duelist joined a duel and lost in like 30 seconds. We are going to try to highlight a lot of moments that really just surprised us as the viewer, and every single Yu-Gi-Oh! show has representation. Duel Monsters all the way through Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush. So without further ado, let's begin. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope you all enjoy. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, episode 158, Yu-Gi loses to Raphael. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, episode 139, Akaba Leo loses to Zark. No one really expected Akaba Leo to defeat Zark, but the fact that he lost to Zark in about 60 seconds is what makes this one of the more shocking defeats in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Episode 148 Hell Kaiser Rio Marafuji loses to Johan slash Yubel. Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns Episode 116, Revolver Loses to Soul Burner. Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel Episode 64, Kaito loses to Tron. While some people certainly expected Tron to take on Yuma in the finals, it was shown in the opening three visuals that Kaito and Yuma versed in the dual sphere, which never actually happened, making this loss even more surprising to those who put a lot of stock in opening visuals. <laughs> 
だって君の怒りはこんなものじゃないだろうゴッドレイジーカイトバ,バカなお前はYu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, Episode 117, Yugo Loses to Rin. Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush Episode 20, Yudius Loses to Goha Yuna. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's episode 85, Crow loses to Linden. Yes, this loss only happened because Crow kind of threw the duel and didn't activate Mirror Force, but him losing to Linden is something that nobody saw coming, despite the fact that he obviously threw the duel. Monster Clock and Clock Knight number 12! Direct attack! This attack is going to be Crow's attack. But, guys, こんな状況を読めずにミスミス負けるわけがないだとすればあの伏せカードは逆転の一手<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>ああ苦労が負けちゃった Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, Episode 92, Yuya loses to Sergei. Right when it seemed like Yuya and Yuzu had been reunited, Yuya brutally loses to Sergei, who entered this duel out of nowhere, and Yuzu was kidnapped once again. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, Episode 42, Yugi loses to Rebecca Hawkins. This is another duel that people debate if it even should count as a loss to Yugi, but this technically was a loss, and for a very long time, it was one of the only girl victories over a main protagonist that a Yu-Gi-Oh! anime has ever had. Surrender, ja. Asa. Anta no kachi ja yo. Huh? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Episode 169, O'Brien loses to Truman. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh!7's episode 23, Yuga loses to Nail. Ragnarok Tri-Burst Strike! 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal episode 138, Mizael loses to Don Thousand. Sure, nobody expected Mizael to defeat Don Thousand, the main villain of the show, but the way that this loss actually occurred and how great it showed the OP-ness of Don Thousand is what puts it on this list. なぜだ。私が発動したのは竜王の宝札。だが、お前のフィールドで発動しているカードは竜王の宝札。一体何が起こってるんだ。お前の負けだ。ミザエル。よって。4800の <笑> Yu-Gi-Oh! GX episode 32, Hell Kaiser loses to Camula. Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains episode 98, Revolver loses to Lightning. Yes, it's a loss. Lightning 1, Revolver 0. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX episode 145, Edo loses to Amon. Exodia <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens episode seventy-six. Yuga loses to Tiger. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX episode 34, Judai loses to Kaiba Man. Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal episode 73, Yuma loses to Kaito. It's not necessarily a shock that a protagonist loses to a rival, but it rarely happens in the rematch, and this is one that a lot of us thought Yuma was going to win, since it didn't have any implications, and it was at the end of the first season. <laughs> Yes, 
ギャラクシーアイスとネオギャラクシーアイスの2体でホープレートホープを攻撃破裂のボタンストリーム行けアルティメットボタンストリーム Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds episode 83, Jack loses to Fake Jack. Fake Jack seemed like another flavor of the week, and usually your hero characters don't lose to one-off characters and flavor of the weeks. However, this duel went a completely opposite route, handing Jack a very surprising loss. これほどまでにレッドデーモンズドラゴンを使いこなすとは奴は一体ジャック・アトラスの真の姿をな Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 28, Roman loses to Sushiko. I ran a Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's pick'em league, and all 81 entries picked Roman to defeat Sushiko. This was one that nobody saw coming. Sushi wa yo ni tsure, yo wa sushi ni tsure. Duel no kazu dake, sushi ga aru! Sore de wa tatakatte moraimashou. Garibuel de Prima Gitana o kougeki. Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns episode 34, Aoi loses to Spectre. I would say it was about 50-50 going into this duel as to who was going to win, but the brutality of Aoi's loss is what puts it on this list for me. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters Episode 191, Joey loses to Siegfried. I really believed we were going to get one final Joey vs. Yugi matchup in the filler arc right before our team went to Ancient Egypt. However, Siegfried played spoiler and defeated Joey before that rematch could happen. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 40, Yuga loses to Roman. You could argue this was the first clean loss a Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist has ever had against a girl character. When Yuga lost to Asana, he was blindsided by her maximum. When Yuya lost to Yuzu, Yuya forgot how to pendulum summon. And when Yugi lost to Rebecca, Yugi surrendered in that duel and didn't continue. This was just a clean loss to Roman to kick off the fourth arc that nobody really saw coming. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters Episode 189, Weevil and Rex lose to Siegfried. This might be a surprising one. We all thought Siegfried was going to win this duel, but how quickly and insanely cool it happened was something that I did not expect while watching this for the first time. Yeah. <laughs>
And there you have it. Those are 25 shocking duel results throughout the various Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Now, of course, there are some duels on this list that maybe we expected to see happen, right? I don't think anyone thought Mizael was going to beat Don Thousand, but I wasn't just looking at the duel result itself. I wanted to look at the manner of which the duels were actually decided and how OP some characters looked while those duels happened. So if I forgot any, please let me know down below and let me know of these 25 which were some that you remember fondly and which were some results where your jaw was just on the floor and you were in shock that a certain character lost to another character. There's quite a few on this list uh, for me personally, but please let me know your thoughts down below. And any other suggestions for the 25 or 20 awesome series, let me know down below as well. I really do love these clip type videos and I'm excited to make more in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. A special thank you to my Platinum Tier Patron, Panther J, to my Diamond Tier Patrons, Jesse Wood and Latrell Smith, and to my Egyptian God Tier Patrons, Kakapakapu, Sin Cloud, and Kyle. Thank you to everyone who is a patron of mine or a YouTube channel member. You guys help me out tremendously. You help out the channel tremendously. And be sure to check out my YouTube channel membership feature and my Patreon for more channel-exclusive perks. Be sure to check out my channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! anime content. I also stream over on Twitch. The link for that channel will be in the description. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the comments, and I hope you have an amazing day.